welcome to the brief history. This week's episode is on one of the most dominating and polarizing faces of the challenge to date. That's right, we're talking about Miss Cara Maria Sorbello. Now, her challenge debut started in season 19 of the challenge called Fresh Meat 2, where she was handpicked by a four-time challenge champion and challenge goat Darrell. Now, it was a pretty disappointing season as they were the first ones out the door of that season. And Cara Maria was thinking, oh my gosh, my challenge career has has been cut short, it's over before it even began. Well, that's what you thought because she was casted in season 20 called Cutthroat as she had an amazing bounce back season, getting all the way to the finals and getting second place with her team. And then the next season, to Challenge Rivals season 21, she was paired up with her harshest critic on Cutthroat and fellow Fresh Meat 2 alum, Laurel Stuckey. And even though they had beef and Kara was getting uh, picked on in the house, Laurel had her back. She battered and beaten everybody mentally and physically in the competitions and they made it all the way back to the finals, back-to-back -back finals appearances, and got back-to-back -back second place finishes. Now, the next season in Battle of the Exes, as she was paired up with Abram, where she met on Cutthroat, uh, it was not a match made in heaven as they were cut short early by Ty and Emily Scrum, who is still a beast, by the way, and Battle of the Seasons was also an early exit for Kara. Now, in Rivals 2, she came in as a replacement uh, partner for Cook, as Cook's partner, basically scrammed before this challenge even started and they made it all the way to the finals once again and got second place and I don't blame them it's pretty impressive especially for not having any rapport with each other Emily and Paula were paired up and they were absolutely destroying that season of the challenge so it was hard to not view them as favorites going into the finals, so Kara and Cook taking home second place is actually pretty impressive. In free agents, that was one of the toughest seasons for Kara Maria as she was thrown into four eliminations and she had her hand uh, pretty much br uh, broken. On her last elimination, she went up against, yes again, her rival and former teammate Laurel in what was called the wrecking wall elimination where you are it relies heavily on using your limbs to break through this wall and climb it up and she was she had a cast on but let's keep on going with Cara Maria's brief history it wasn't until the next season in battle of the bloodlines that she was back into form and she was paired up with her cousin Jamie and was able to get over that final slump that second sl place slump and get all the way into the challenge finals winner circle and she was a challenge champ and realistically that opened the floodgates for Cara Maria to hit the gas pedal in these challenges yes she had a bit of a setback in invasion of the champs as she was taken out in an elimination early by Laurel so she was able to just put the pedal to the metal and got to four finals appearances in a row, which is historical on the challenge. She made it to the finals in Dirty 30 and made it all the way to second place. She won as the sole winner on Vendettas. Her and Marie came in fourth place on Final Reckoning and she made it to fifth place on War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds was one of the toughest and probably the most brutal challenge finals that we've ever seen, so making it to fifth place is pretty impressive. Now, she is coming under much scrutiny, especially in War of the Worlds, because of just trying to gun for Kyle. This all stems from vendettas when her and Kyle met up, they had a they quick uh, they formed a quick bond with one another and made it all the way to the finals together. And then once the, the season ended, uh, that's when everything went sour. Then they were casted together on Final Reckoning, but Polly was also on there. But things were said on and off the screen, uh, on and off season, and that's when we all came into War of the Worlds, where there was major drama and intensity between the three. And that's when Kara and Polly seemed to only be gunning for Kyle, and Kyle, on the edit, looked like a victim. But there's a lot of things going on in the background I think we don't know about. But that's a brief history of Cara Maria, a self-proclaimed outsider who is the first out on her challenge season debut. But she flips the script and makes an illustrious challenge career that spans over 13 challenges a season, now 14 with War of the Worlds 2. Uh, eight challenge finals appearances, four in a row, which is a challenge record, and a two-time challenge champ. But I have some questions for you. Are you a Cara Maria fan or stan? Let me know in the comment section below. Or are you a harsh critic of her? Let me know that too. Um, were you a fan and then turned 
on her or were you a critic of her and then turned stan? Let me know that too. I want to hear everything about it. And what do you think about Cara Maria um, back in the day to now? I want to hear what you think if you are a longtime challenge watcher or even just a new a newbie watching. What is your opinion on Cara Maria? And let me know that in the comment section below. I'll be back really, really soon with more videos, more reality TV show videos. I got Below Deck coming out on Tuesday night, a challenge recaps and reviews on Thursday night, and these brief histories coming out every week or every other week on Saturdays. But let me know that in the comment section below what you think. And while you're down there, hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll be back really, really soon. But until then, peace.